morning peeps welcome to another vlog today is one of those days where we're just gonna have a lot of service calls I think the first thing I have to do is go repair a cartridge at one place then I have to go do a hose bip and in that second place I also have to repair either put in a brand new faucet or I'm putting in a brand new supply line but you know how service is you start with a couple of calls you end up having a lot or you start with a couple of calls and you end up having none so so let's just see what the day has in store for us peeps do me a favor hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel hit that bell notification so you know exactly when we're uploading videos smash that thumbs up and of course let's go do some delicious plumbing Peeps, in this first job, the biggest concern I always have when putting in a new cartridge is if I can get the old one out smoothly. This right here is a Delta cartridge, and not to jinx myself, but I only have had smooth experiences with them. The one thing that I did run into here is that it was a bit difficult to know which way the cartridge faces upwards. So you have to pay particular attention to that when you're swapping these out. You have to look inside the valve, see which way the openings are facing, and line the cartridge up appropriately. So whenever you deal with old silicone, it can be a bit of a pain because you have to make sure that you clean it off thoroughly when you're planning to put in new silicone. You see, new silicone will not stick to old silicone, so your seal will be suspect at best. Secondly, if you opt to not put in new silicone after you cut the old silicone, then you're leaving room for water to find its way in. So the best chance to seal the area is to clean the old silicone off thoroughly from the tile and the trim plate and then lay a new bead. couple of things I need to update you on. First of all, we did that cartridge in there. That cartridge is actually really expensive. That's the one thing that I got to say. I think it's like 50 bucks from the supplier and that's with our discount or something like that. That's what dad was saying. It's like 50 or 60 bucks. So that thing is surprisingly expensive. Anyways, that's number one. Pretty straightforward. All you got to do is make sure that the water's turned off to the house. You got to verify that uh, it's okay aside from that. The other thing that we have to do now is instead of that hose bip I was telling you all about, we got called in to do an auxiliary stack. I've done a video on auxiliary stacks before, but essentially an auxiliary stack picks up the first few floors of a building. Every stack has an auxiliary stack in a building. So for example, if you have a kitchen stack on 01 line, so you got 101, 201, 301, 401, 501, that stack is going to have an auxiliary stack, especially if it goes up really high. So if it's a 15 floor stack, it's going to have an auxiliary stack that picks up 101, 201, 301, 401, and then 501 will be a brand new stack. And the reason why they do that is because the first four floors of a building usually are prone to a couple of different things. Number one, if the 90 that goes from vertical to horizontal gets clogged, the first few floors get trash. The other one, the other thing is, is that 90, it's, it's known to be the big pressure zone. And because you have 15 floors discharging, the first few floors are prone to having like their trap, siphon, etc. So instead of letting a stack have 15 floors, they go from 
floor 5 to 15 rather than 1 to 15 sort of thing. Anyways, I'm not doing it justice, but uh, the auxiliary stack here has been clogged. I'm going to go in. I'm going to install a line clean out. And after installing a line clean out, we can then commence the work and start snaking the drain. Let's go. So in the Ontario Plumbing Code Book 7471 subsection 10, a cleanout shall be installed on a fixture drain serving a kitchen sink as close as practical to the trap outlet and shall be readily accessible. So right here, this code stipulates that every kitchen drain requires a cleanout with these specifications. But I've noticed over my career that many kitchen drains, especially in older buildings, are lacking one. So whenever we are snaking kitchen drains, you will notice that I'm always attempting to install a clean out and here's the reason why. Imagine for a second sending a snake into a dry drain with no water inside. What will happen is you will eventually reach the clog, you will disturb the clog and maybe even break through the clog. But in some circumstances that I've seen firsthand, when you pull the snake out and then start running the water, it sometimes clogs again because it has opportunity to accumulate all the debris again. However, if you install a clean out, you can now pressurize the drain and fill it up with water so that upon breaking through the clog, two things happen. Number one, you're able to see that you unclogged the drain and you're able to calculate how far the clog was from you. And then number two, the water provides pressure and immediately pushes the debris further into the drain, ensuring its passage to the sewer. By then leaving the water running, you are able to wash the drain as you continue snaking. And lastly, it also allows you to know if the drain clogs up again because water will start coming out of the cleanout again. So in other words, a cleanout also helps in giving you more data and understanding how the drain is reacting to what you're doing. I think one of the best advantages to having the clean out and running the water at the end of the drain call is also it simultaneously is cleaning the snake as it's coming back out that way you don't have to wash it later on so really there are a lot of advantages to using a clean out and having it so it's one of those codes that we really stick by as service plumbers i hope this was useful to you peeps thanks for watching do me a favor hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and that bell notification we're trying to get to 10k as i said before and, and we are so close to getting it we just need a few more of you to commit to the channel. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you plumbers very soon. Kenny Molotov, guys. Peace, baby.